Welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and today we are going to be talking about epoxy resin. I like to use Illumilite's Amazing Clear Cast. It's very simple to use with a one-to-one -one ratio, and it's very easy to find. You can find it at any Michaels or Hobby Lobby craft stores. I'm sure most of you probably have those kits that you purchase from Hobby Lobby. It comes with the little measuring cups and the little stir sticks for you already. And what I used to like to do was I would mark A on one cup and B on the other little measuring cup. And I would reuse those because it, just as long as they're not mixed together, you can reuse them. And I would pour it into a separate cup so that way I didn't have to go out and purchase any more of those little measuring cups. But now I moved on to the pumps, which is pretty easy. As you can see, you just want to depress them all the way down and it measures it out equally for you into one ounce increments into your cup. And then we'll be ready to stir it up. Another thing I used to like to do with those little measuring cups, because sometimes it's hard to tell if it's equal, is I would lay it on a flat surface and then I would get down level with it and I would check to make sure it was equal across my measuring cups. Now, as you can see, as I start to stir it, it will start to turn opaque and you can't see through it. That's just the chemical reaction of the A and B coming together to make that epoxy resin for you. I like to stir mine up until I can completely see through the bottom. Once everything is all mixed together, you should be able to see through the bottom. I just do circular motions while scraping the sides. I'll even come through and scrape off my stick or spatula or whatever you're using to stir your epoxy with. You just wanna make sure you just keep going until you can see through it. I'm going to be doing a couple different tumblers and I'm also gonna be doing some coasters to show you the difference between using it straight from mixing it and to letting it sit for a little while. There's a big difference when you let that epoxy sit. I prepped two tumblers with Mod Podge and a navy glitter. Now I'm going to use that mixture that I just mixed up and I'm gonna apply it right away to my tumbler. I'm just gonna cover my tumbler with my epoxy and then I'm going to put on my silver glitter on the bottom. Now some of you may have noticed you have done a painted tumbler or you've done a tumbler this in this manner where you Mod Podge some, a fine glitter onto the base and then you applied some type of chunky glitter to the bottom and you come back and that chunky glitter has rose really far up your cup. So I'm gonna kind of show you why that happened. I will also be showing you a coaster in the same fashion where I use my epoxy straight from mixing it. I didn't let it sit or warm up. So I'm gonna put my glitters into my epoxy and then I'm gonna place it into my molds and we're gonna see what happens when I do it this way. As you can see, when I put it into my coaster, instead of staying in the streaks that I wanted it, it kind of blobbed out, but that's just because we did it straight from mixing it. Now I'm just gonna stick that off to the side and I'm gonna go check on my tumbler that we just did. As you can see, the glitter is already starting to rise up my tumbler. It probably has risen, I wanna say about a half inch. You can see all the little fine specks in there. It's already halfway up my cup and I didn't want it that far up my cup. So we'll come back and we'll check on it once it's fully cured. Now I have a second tumbler that I made up in the same exact fashion. I did my Mod Podge, I did my glitter, and we're going to apply a silver to the bottom exactly like the first tumbler. But this time we're going to let our epoxy sit for 10 to 15 minutes before we do anything with it. I have my one to one ratio all done up and I'm going to give it a good mix until it is nice and clear. I'm going to set that epoxy off to the side, set a timer for 10 to 15 minutes, and then when I come back, I'm gonna check it. You can actually see the consistency of the epoxy is different. It's thicker. Even when you push it with, this, with the spatula or a stick, it just feels a lot thicker, and that's gonna help that glitter just stay in place when you go to do the next step. Now that my epoxy is nice and warm and thick, I applied it to my tumbler in the same way I did the first one. 
And now I'm gonna come through and put my chunky glitter on the bottom the same exact way we did the first one. And we will see the difference from waiting 10 minutes versus just applying it straight from mixing. And now we will do a coaster with that warm epoxy that we have. I'm going to put my glitters into my epoxy and I'm going to stir them up really good and I'm gonna place it into my coaster the same exact fashion I did the first one. And then we will be able to see on this as well, waiting 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes versus just applying it straight from mixing. As you can see, that nice thick epoxy is staying more like streaks and not turning into those blobs that I didn't want. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. I'm gonna let it sit and then we will come back and check on all this in a little bit. The third and final way I'm going to show you how to apply this epoxy is how I always do it, is the epoxy method where I apply all my glitters straight onto the epoxy. Now, when I do it this way, I don't let anything sit. I use it straight from mixing. That's because when you apply your glitter to the epoxy, it kind of fills it in and thickens it up and nothing shifts whenever you do it this way. I'm gonna take that epoxy I just mixed up and I'm gonna use it right away. I'm gonna apply it to my tumbler and then I'll put a nice thick coat of glitter over top of everything and then I will place it onto my turner and let that cure. And then we will see the difference that makes as well. Again, as you can see here, I'm using a nice helping of my white on top because I like a fine glitter on top. And then I'm gonna come through and put a chunky on the bottom. I don't apply my chunky as thick because I don't wanna have to sand it as much. So I just do it until everything kind of fills in and then we will be ready to put it on our turner and we will take a look at our tumblers and see what everything looks like. Everything has been on my turner for about an hour and as you can see the epoxy method nothing has shifted. Now as you can see here the warm epoxy that we used it's only it's risen up a little bit but not as much it probably about a half inch that has risen, but not bad. That's about where I wanted it anyways. So that's pretty good. Now we're gonna take a look at the tumbler where I just put it straight onto without letting it sit. Look how far up that went. Now if you do your tumblers in this fashion where you mod podge and then you add, apply a fine glitter and then you add a chunky to the bottom, this is the difference letting it sit 10 minutes versus using it straight away makes. Now we are going to check on my coasters and see how they did. As you can see here, this one is the one that I let set for 10 minutes and this one is the one that I just did straight away. You can see all that glitter just floated to the top because the epoxy wasn't thick enough to hold it down. So here are some side-by-sides of the tumblers we did. As you can see, the glitter rose up probably a, a couple inches at least. And then here you can see that most of that glitter floated to the top, whereas this one stayed more in those streaks that I wanted. You can see here the method that I prefer, the epoxy method, stayed exactly the same as I applied it before I put it on the turner. I hope that this tip has been helpful for you today. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments below, and I will do my best to answer them for you. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more tutorials, tips, or vlogs I have coming your way, and I will see you guys next time.